It's been nine years of rumors and speculation about the next Bioshock game after the release of Bioshock Infinite all the way back in 2013. A couple of years ago, 2K finally did acknowledge that Bioshock 4 is indeed in development. After at least one Bioshock game being cancelled by 2K and a reboot happening later on, it feels good to finally say that Bioshock 4 is happening. 2K announced that the studio behind the game will be Cloud Chamber, which is a new studio under 2K, comprised of a few developers from the original team that worked on Bioshock, as well as members from a studio called Firaxis Games. A leak also suggests that some developers who worked on games like Watch Dogs Legion, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Mafia 3, Deus Ex Mankind Divided, are a part of the new studio as well. Now let's just get this out of the way up front. When is the game coming? Unfortunately, we have no idea. Considering Bioshock has been gone for so long and faced the cancellation of a title in 2016, at best the game has been worked on since 2017 and only really confirmed to exist just three years ago. I'd guess we won't be seeing this game until at least 2023, but more realistically I'd say 2025. The hope is that the game has entered full production by now, but I wouldn't be surprised if it hasn't. But the best chance to hear more about a release date will likely be during E3 or whatever will replace E3 in the summertime. Maybe this year, but probably the next year. But now that that's out of the way, let's move on to the more interesting part of the video, the story and the setting. The first we heard of the setting was from a YouTuber named Colin Moriarty, who is kind of a gaming veteran within the video game space, having worked as an editor at IGN and various other game-related projects. On his podcast, he's quoted saying, It takes place in a 1960s Antarctic city called Borealis. I've been told that the development team has incredible latitude to get it right. None of this can obviously be confirmed, but it's more than safe to be a little bit skeptical of this leak. However, there are a few other number of sources describing the same setting. I will say that the idea of a 1960s Antarctic city sounds badass, and I can picture that Bioshock art style and aesthetic perfectly in mind for what that would look like. It seems perfect. On paper. A few other leaks have stated that the name of Bioshock 4 would be Bioshock Isolation as a possibility. The leak went on to say that Bioshock Isolation may be set in a new-to-franchise isolated dystopian city, which obviously sounds very similar to Rapture. The leak then goes on to describe actually two separate cities with radically different ideology. One city being located underground right beneath the city on the surface, and the idea of this vertical war between the two. Both of these ideas actually sound fantastic in concept, and if there were such a vertical war between two cities in the Antarctic set in 1960s, that just sounds awesome. According to VGC and their sources, the game story will connect to the previous Bioshock games. This is something that I think could be really cool, but at the same time, I think Ken Levine's games should really stand on their own and not be tampered with story-wise. But if it does connect to the story, I just hope that it doesn't do it in a way that undermines or ruins the masterpieces that are Bioshock and Bioshock Infinite. There's also been a lot of leaks suggesting the game will be open world, something I'm personally not all that thrilled about. I wish games would stop being all open world games because sometimes great narrative games benefit by having a more linear storyline. Take Halo Infinite for example, which I think lacks a lot of narrative strength in order to service its open world design. I really think Halo Infinite could have benefited from sticking to a more linear structure. But the reason it's believed to be open world is because the Cloud Chamber developer has made various job listing posts that give off the idea that it will be an open world shooter. The team is looking for a senior writer to weave impactful character driven stories in an open world setting. Another job listing for an AI programmer requires the development of a new urban crowd system, as well as developing primary and secondary mission design. Again, I'm not keen on the idea of an open world Bioshock, but maybe they can surprise me. The game is being developed in the Unreal Engine 5, which means the game will likely be a very visually impressive game, which Bioshock has always kind of been. Even 15 years later, the first Bioshock looks incredible. A YouTuber by the name of Noodle Spagoodle actually developed a fan-made short demo inside of Unreal Engine 5, showing off just how great Bioshock looks inside of Unreal Engine 5. And I'll leave a link to his video in the description of this video. Perfect. Darwin's Cove is holed up in the lower city complex. You'll need to use the elevator back of the atrium. Personally, I'm a little bit nervous about a new Bioshock game. On one hand, I love the Bioshock universe and anything new with its style and storytelling is something that I'd love to see. On the other hand, I'm worried that they could possibly mess with something that is already almost a near perfect series. The Bioshock games have a few flaws, but they are masterpieces of storytelling. 
In the modern day, stories and video games have been getting worse in my opinion. There's a few outliers like Red Dead 2 and God of War, but many other AAA games especially are really falling short in their storytelling. Bioshock is the last game I'd want to see fall victim to poor storytelling, so I'm really crossing my fingers and hoping that the developers actually take their time with this one and understand what made Bioshock so beloved and do everything they can to nail the magic. Without Ken Levine there, I'm not super confident it'll come close to his level of intellectual twists and turns, but if they take their time and again really focused on how the Bioshock games convey their narratives, I think something great could be done. And hopefully the open world stuff is a little toned back in order to service a more compelling story. But those are just my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comments below and let me know which Bioshock game is your favorite. For me, it's pretty much an exact tie between the first game and Bioshock Infinite. Bioshock 1 had some great twists and fantastic gameplay and really made you kind of think before you entered into a new area or fight a big daddy. You had to be pretty strategic, and I really loved that about the first game. But in my opinion, Infinite had one of the best narratives and twists ever. Not just in video games, but in narratives in general. Infinite remains to be a game that I still think about now and then because of the impact it had on me. It genuinely blew my mind after I completed it, and I don't think anything's ever come close to blowing my mind on that level again. But again, those are just my thoughts. Thank you so much for watching, subscribe for more gaming videos, and I will see you all in the next one.